Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 5. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here with the Asian Elite Open. It is a new recording session, new, new stream, new everything. Starting off with six people in the chat. And we're going to be taking the Honda Fit. This thing is D-Class. Uh, we've upgraded it from F class. It's now uh, performance index 347, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're going around Sakuba circuits first, then Twin Ring Mategi, and then finishing off with Maple Valley. Let's get going. All right, here we go. We got the Honda Fit. And I'm going to have a fit looking at this car. <laughs> have I still. Oh, yeah, I did it. I've changed my key bindings. I made sure to remember to do that before we uh, finish the last stream. Key bindings feel really good. This seems unnatural driving a Honda Fit this fast. Why, like, I should be getting the Honda Fit up to 70 miles an hour by the end of the really long straight on this track. Oh, not too bad. Honda Fit truly does fit your driving skills. Very minimalistic. Yes, I know. <laughs> that is amazing. Ah, come on. God, Kodo. Think of your liver, man. <laughs> Already back on the bevies, I see. bad what are people gonna do when uh i'm away for two weeks there's gonna be no streams for three weeks what's everyone gonna do i know what they'll do they'll watch my youtube content exclamation mark yt in the chat and if you're watching this on youtube check my twitch link in the description <laughs> Ah, lovely. Three weeks, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there'll still be the YouTube content, so it's not like I'm not posting anything. It's just I physically can't stream while I'm away. Uh, maybe I might do one or two. Depends how good or bad the internet is. But they will be like IRL streams. There won't be anything. Um, it'll be me beside a pool or something. Just, ah, I'm having a good time here. Just flexing on everyone. <laughs> it would be flexing. Hopping on another streamer. <laughs> Pina Colada and now having Beer Academy special. Sounds like a plan. Get on those bevies, lad. I do think the interior camera is fairly well done in this game. It doesn't look horrendous. Not bad, there we go. Cross the line. 5.6 grand. We got the car up to level 2. So we got fuel system upgrades. Nice. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, I'd love to see a picture of it, Cardo. Honestly, like, alcoholic drinks. They go down well here. 
<laughs> Let's go, more alcohol. <laughs> so as of this point, we've been playing the game for three hours and 34 minutes. According to the timer that we have. Which uh, is not too bad. Ruins or rebels, disciples and the... Uh, Ruins for rebels, disciples, and the young. So, uh, we found the weakness of this Honda Fit. It has zero brakes. <laughs> Cheers to that drink, hands. That car was braking for ages. The thing is, every time you put your foot on the brake in racing to slow down, it's similar to an emergency brake. Always. Because you want the maximum braking to slow down, it's obvious. It's the same with an emergency brake when you're driving on the road. Now, I can tell you right now, I'd rather be in front of a Bugatti going 250 miles an hour than a Honda Fit going 50. <laughs> this thing really... No, I don't like it. <laughs> the way it slows down just... No. It does have good brakes. I will admit, the Bugatti Veyron does have good brakes. In fact, um, that rear air brake, okay, so the amount of braking force that just the air brake alone produces at top speed, because uh, obviously at a faster speed it produces more braking force and then it sort of tails off as the car slows down, because there's less air, maths, and shit, physics. Um, but at top speed, that air brake itself produces enough braking force that a Ford Fiesta can produce. So once that air brake comes up, that's like a Ford Fiesta on the brakes, along with the car's actual brakes itself. That is how powerful it is. It is crazy. There we go. I'll take my money. Thank you. All right, here we go. Oh, apparently we have a picture in the Discord. Uh, oh, it's in my DMs. Cheers. It looks fairly plain. It looks like a weak squash. Probably, the, the only reason it looks like a weak swash though is probably because it's full of vodka. <laughs> you are. Feed to fire, break your vision, throw your fist up, come with me. I think that some races like that exist when two cars on top of each other, upper car steering and lower part is pressing pedals. Yeah, that was in a Top Gear episode, wasn't it? Where they just slapped like two cars on top of each other. I, I'm not sure whether it is a Top Gear thing. But it is funny. It's a little bit like Trackmania. You know that... Um, Trackmania game mode where you have um, two drivers, but that was sort of both drivers were like 
50% of the car. So one driver would be 50% of the throttle, the other would be the other 50%. So for it to go 100%, both drivers needed to... What? Okay, newsflash. Um, my touchpad on this PS5 controller apparently is my rewind button. So I have a nice big button to say fucking get back <laughs> if I crash. <laughs> That's brilliant. Well, I've learned that. I was like, why is my car going backwards now? <laughs> yeah, two Fiestas on top of each other will stop you instantly. Not bad. It's vodka, amaretto, triple sec, southern comfort, orange juice, and grenadine. Grenadine sounds like a drug. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have to drive this again. I don't think I actually have to buy a single car in this um, thingy. In this actual uh, starting bit. Got 5,366. Not bad. Getting close to level 8 as well. And we got differential upgrade discount. Grenadine is something they use in kids' cocktails. Ah, fair enough. Fake alcohol. Lovely. Alright, so we're here for the coupe road test 1. Uh, it's a D limited, D class limited, but I'm allowed to take the Shelby GT500, which really confuses me. But the game's letting me take it, so I'm gonna take it. Uh, we're starting off with Sunset Peninsula, lovely track. Glad to see that it's still here. Sakuba Circuit, and then finishing off with Circuit de Catalunya. Let's get going. All right, here we go. GT500, let's go! I love this car. I don't know why, the Shelby GT500 is just one of those Mustangs that's just chef's kiss. Wasn't this car in the last game as well? Oh, shit. Bonk. Cheers for clipping that, hands. I wanted all existence of that crash that I just did <laughs> to be wiped out. <laughs> I even deleted the recording so that I didn't have to see it later <laughs> when I edit. And you've just clipped it. I've gone too far. Lovely. Absolutely cocked that corner up. I love, I love Twitch's like auto-generated URLs because of the fact before, back when Twitch first had clips, it just gave you three randomly generated names and then for some reason, someone in Twitch decided, hmm, rather than like renaming or like keeping the old names, but then creating a new like randomly generated AI version. They just decided to, oh yeah, we'll keep the old system of three randomly generated names, but we'll also, um, we'll also add random letters at the end, which is confusing. But you get some absolute gems like that clip that you've just taken. Seductive, witty, baboon. 
is the URL. <laughs> like, what the- what even the fuck is a seductive witty baboo? I, I'm curious now. Twitch, please explain yourself. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Meow. Okay, so it turns out we can't go flat out there. Ah, shit. It's not ideal. Could have gone better. Seductive witty baboon curse, yes. <laughs> That's lit. <laughs> Such a stupid, stupid way of generating URLs. I can feel it. Ah! Rudimento. <laughs> now that is style. <laughs> 4,600 for that. And we're now level 8. We've got a Maserati Gran Turismo. And we've also got an ignition discount, 10% off. Lovely. And I'm right down on here that we're level 8. I'm going to mark that as done as well. Oh. Unpopular opinion, but I think this is one of the best looking Maseratis that ever existed. That is stunning. I cannot believe you used OBS to record that, Hans. That crash was supposed to be deleted. It was supposed to stay private. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I shall give you a bonk. Bonk. It was perfect timing. Get out the way. No, I said it's true. I can feel the love. Can you feel it too? Feel it. Uh -huh. See, that seems excessive. It's quite a lot of money. Four grand for a holiday. Now, I know that, that there are people that will spend that much money. But, I mean, you think when we're going away... My hotel room is costing me 220. My flights cost me 200. Um, and I'm taking 700 spending money. So about a grand, but that includes my hotel, my breakfast and everything. Book it individually. You don't book it with a company. That's where stuff becomes expensive. If you go and book a hotel, like you book a holiday with like, especially companies like TUI, uh, Thomas Cook, even though they're gone now, but like those kind of companies, they would find, they would do exactly what you can do, but they would charge a premium for it and a big premium. And because of the fact that they use their own airline, they can then use the airline as their excuse for that premium. If they didn't have their own airline, then they would struggle to justify adding such a price. But because it does, but it doesn't exist. They shut down a majority of their branches to the point that it's basically non-existent at this point. But yeah, because they have their own airline, part of their company, 
they can basically just say like, oh yeah, majority of the price of this is your travel ticket, but they'll sell it as a package. And that's how they get their profit. Like, I can guarantee you a hotel if you are looking for a decent, like, the one that I'm going to. £210. For, you know. I think my nan's paying 400 but she's got it for three weeks. I don't think it was a fire in a hotel closing down. Five thousand eight hundred. Not bad. We're now level two. We got oil and cooling upgrades by Cosworth, and that is now a ten percent discount. All right, here we go. Let's go, lads. Yeah, so it's just ridiculously expensive. And you think the most? I think the most expensive individual part of my holiday that I've paid for. Gas fire in a hotel that was booked and owned by them. Oh, Jesus. I don't think that's why they shut down, though. Like the way you used to do. That might have been a contributing factor, but I doubt that was the sole reason. I don't see why they get sued for that, though, because if it was owned by them, but it was run by the family, wouldn't it be the family's responsibility? Not bad. This thing does feel like an absolute tank, though. Like the way you used to do. With great power, you have to have great responsibility. Well, don't give me power, then, because I have no responsibilities. It is a really weird. It's like basically saying you have to use your power for good. Basically. You have a responsibility to be good. At which point I'd say, fuck off. <laughs> Not being a dick. Does anyone remember that glitch from Forza Motorsport 6 where you could absolutely ram it up the side of Catalonia and actually get into the school circuit when you were playing the short circuit? <laughs> I don't that responsibility. Fuck the responsibility, lad. 
Oh, well, my Ford is in the bin. Lovely. Six grand for that. Woohoo! And uh, we're going to get some rewards. What are we going to get? Ooh, 6,600. Not bad. I got 49,000 credits. Result. All right, next up is the inline four showcase for the amateur section. Um, we've got three races to do. Sebring, Sakuba, and then Twin Ring Mategi. We're going to be taking the Vauxhall VX220 for this one. Beautiful car. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Oh, I've just noticed I need to uh, do a split. Bing! There we go. Oh, we got a fucking uh, Corsa there. Mu voxels coming through. I still love how I predicted in the last stream that this car was made by Lotus because never searched it up, but I was like, this car, when you look at the interior, because I've never seen the interior of this car, because um, obviously Motorsport 1 and 2 doesn't have interior. So when I saw it in Motorsport 3 and saw the interior, I was like, this car looked reeks of Lotus. <laughs> Searched it up on Wikipedia and sure enough, it's made by Lotus. It was brilliant. The VTEC have great power on 8K. That's why I love VTEC. VTEC is like the shit. Magic people, voodoo people. Ow. Ow, ow. Ow. Bam, bam. Voodoo, voodoo, what you gotta do to the place? Xbox Store is hosting big sales right now. Oh, interesting. I haven't actually looked at the Xbox sales, but I think I'm probably not going to bother. There we go. Across the line. Good start. I'll take my money. Are we level one? Not quite. Oh my god. Eighteen naked cowboys in Ram Ranch. <laughs> Voodoo people, magic people, magic people, magic people, voodoo people, magic people. Not bad.
Good start so far, actually. It's a lovely car to drive around this track. Oh, a little bit wide. Not ideal. I mean, when you think this game is comparable to uh, Gran Turismo 5, this is definitely worse than Gran Turismo 5 in terms of, like, graphics and probably handling. But just the sheer amount of events makes up for it and the variety really does um, give the Forza Corner a huge favour. Uh, when you then convert it to, um, or like flip it over to Motorsport 4, compared to Gran Turismo 5, because again, those two games are sort of comparable, they're a year apart. Forza wins all round, like graphics, are, uh, maybe graphics is level. But everything else is so much better, the handling physics. Phenomenal. <laughs> Why is it playing the song twice? It says we're listening to a different song. Clearly, my music app is broken. Magic people, photo people. All right, there we go. Nice result. 5,600. We're level 9 and level 1. So we got a Camaro SS. Lovely. And we got driveline upgrades by Vauxhall. Also lovely. Right, let's fix this music quickly. There we go. Fixed it. Not bad. That was a lovely looking car, by the way. That Camaro. All right. Mmm, tasty. Whoa! What is the Scirocco doing? I still... I'm hands down adamant that that is the best looking VW that's ever existed, the Scirocco. The new Golf is a good second place. Alright, here we go. Good. Good so far. I got your money. Woohoo. I do find it interesting that there are all these different uh, sponsorships and stuff like that. Besides the track, it is pretty cool. I did find it a bit of a surprise when uh, I saw Twin Ring on here. Because I was under the impression that Twin Ring was added in Motorsport 4. Clearly, it was added in Motorsport 3. Got the old Alpine logos there. Down, down. Come on. Uh huh. Catch your money. It's really good. You can obviously see the other side of the twin ring over there.
There are a lot more tracks that we're going to be seeing, but I believe we're stuck with sort of these smaller amateur circuits. I, I think they've actually formatted this really well in, like, the type of tracks that you get for each one, because clearly we're getting the sort of smaller tracks for this amateur section, which is good. It's, it's good to see that they've actually properly formatted the stuff as well for all these different things. Oh, I have remembered that Motorsport 4 is probably going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, but for... I think because Motorsport 4, if I'm not mistaken, has one make races. Uh, I don't think this game has that many. I think it's got like 1v1. So like Evo versus Subaru or those kind of things. I don't think it has one car only event. Whereas Motorsport 4, I've seen quite a few one vehicle only. So, Motorsport 4 might be a bit more of a pain in the ass. Uh, I need to save this replay, by the way. Because uh, this is for a thumbnail. Cheers for telling me it was successfully saved. Because if it wasn't, I would have cried. Uh, we're now level 2 with the Voxel. We've got air filter upgrades by K&N Europe. Are now 10% off. And we should also see 5,700 credits because we have completed that. Lovely. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.